What's up, y'all? This is the Kari Hoarder here once again, and I just wanted to tell y'all, uh, Happy New Year, Happy 2019. Um, 2018 has been a roller coaster ride for me, and um, I'm glad that you guys stuck around and supported my channel, supported what I do. So uh, this year, I I thought about doing this video yesterday, but you know, I was just having too much fun yesterday. So today. For the new year, I'm going to do a video on my updated martial arts DVD collection. Uh, it's been a while since I did one, about a few years. So this is going to be the 2019 edition. And this video is going to be including all the Blu-rays that I have, all the martial arts Blu-rays that I have, and all the DVDs. So without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, guys, let's start off with the Blu-rays. First up, we have a touch of Zen on Criterion. I just got uh, a couple new Criterions, including this one, uh, in 2018. So a touch of Zen, which I have yet to see. Three Outlaw Samurai, Sword of the Assassin, uh, Special ID, the Ombok Trilogy. Yes, I do have these movies on DVD. Why do I have this on Blu-ray? Just because I felt like getting them, okay? Um, <laughs> The Last Dragon on Blu-ray, probably, possibly my favorite movie. Uh, Kung Fu Hustle. Uh, Iceman with Donnie Yen, I hear they're doing a sequel. Uh, Dragon in with King Hu, one, this has become one of my favorite films of all time. Um, it's kind of like a um, Chinese Star Wars, if you really look at it. Uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Did I really just say Dragon Ball? Um, Curse of the Golden Flower. Big Trouble in Little China. I don't know if you really count this as a martial arts film, but I'm just putting it in there just in case. Uh, the Assassin, very abstract martial arts film, and it's very unique in its storytelling, kind of like Blade Runner in a way. Uh, very excellent film. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, the Assassin's Blade, The 36 Chamber of Shaolin on Blu-ray. Yes, I have this movie on DVD. Uh, I love that movie, so I didn't mind getting another copy. And last but not least for the Blu-rays, we have 1911 Revolution with uh, Jackie Chan. He's still making movies, man. You got to respect that. So those are all the Blu-rays. Blu now let's get into the DVD. All right, this may be a long video, so I'm going to go through these as quickly as possible. So uh, first up, we have uh, Action Trooper feature with Donnie Yen Films. We have Legend of the Fist, Flashpoint, and Blade of Kings. Uh, Man of Man with the Iron Fist, some Tony Jaw films coming up, Spirited Killer, one of his earlier films. He's not the main character, but whatever. Uh, the first Ombok, uh, Ombok 2, Ombok 3. Here we have Moran Tao, which is, uh, stars Eco U.S. Uh, right before he did the Raid movies. Uh, the Protector 2, which I have the first one in the Dragon Dynasty collection. Uh, pretty good, not as good as the first one, but I enjoyed it. Um, Sorcerer and the White Snake, and uh, Journey to the West, which has which, which which is one of my favorite films in recent years. I absolutely love it. Uh, from Stephen Chow. Uh, next, we have some more DVDs on the top of the shelf. We have to get through. Here we have The Last Dragon. Said enough about that movie. Um, Romeo Must Die and Cradle to the Grave. Uh, the Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan and Jet Li. Come on, focus. There we go. Uh, Jackie Chan, Kung Fu Master. Uh, Enter the Dragon. Here we go into the Bruce Lee stuff. And this is like my second favorite Bruce Lee film. Uh, the Big Boss. Fist of Fury. Uh, Way of the Dragon. Uh, Game of Death. Game of Death 2. Uh, Bruce Lee, A Dragon Story, Bruce Boytation, and last but not least for the top ones, uh, The Legend of Bruce Lee. So, I'm going to keep going uh, on this shelf. I'm just going to splice this stuff into parts, so I'm going to go pretty quickly. So, here we have Police Story with Jackie Chan. i just put that down so I can have wiggle space. Uh, the Protector with Tony Jaw, the first one. Uh, oh, Seven Swords. The 36th Chamber of Shaolin, my favorite martial arts film. Uh, King Boxer, also known as Five Fingers of Death. Uh, the majority of the Dragon Dynasty films I have are Shaw Brothers, so 
this is gonna be the Dragon Dynasty films leading into the Shaw Brothers uh, films I own. So, yeah, let's just keep going. Uh, the One-Armed Swordsman. Come drink with me. Oh, dang it, dropped it. Yeah, come drink with me. I I need to watch it, I'm gonna watch it today. Um, here we have Tai Chi Master. Uh, Fist of Legend. Empress and the Warriors. I just got this recently for Christmas. Uh, Five Deadly Venoms. Battle of the Warriors. Uh, Return to the 36th Chamber. The Killer. Return of the One-Armed Swordsman. The Eight Diagram Pole Fighter. One of the best Sharpies movies ever. Uh, the Fi Return of the Five Deadly Venoms. Uh, better known as Crippled Avengers. My favorite Venoms film. Uh, Shaolin Mantis, uh, Disciples of the 36th Chamber, Five Shaolin Masters, uh, Executioners from Shaolin, Mad Monkey Kung Fu, Martial Arts of Shaolin, here we have some double features, Avenging Eagle and Blood Brothers, Golden Swallow and Killer Clans, Fly Gene Team Part 1 and 2. Uh, here we have this Dragon Dynasty 5 movie collection with Born to Defend, uh, The Defender, The Legend 2, Once Upon a Time in China and America, and From Beijing with Love. As we continue, we go into the Shaw Brothers films. The Water Margin, Super Inframan, Legendary Heroes uh, 4 pack with The Shadow Whip, Shaolin Intruders, Legendary Weapons of China, and The Deadly Breaking Sword. Uh, Heroes 2 and the Master, The Brave Archer with the Alexander Fusheng R.I.P. Iron Bodyguard with Chen Kuan Tai, uh, Two Champions of Shaolin, Duel of, the, Duel of the Century, and The Battle Wizards. Now let's move on to the next shelf. All right, on to the next shelf. Here we go. We have Bodyguards and Assassins with uh, Donnie Yen. True Legend, one of my favorite martial arts films in years. A lot of these new ones are my favorites. Um, Flying Swords of Dragon Gate, a remake of Dragon Man. Here we have a triple feature with Jackie Chan films, Little Big Soldier, 1911, I have that on Blu-ray, and Shaolin, uh, so good. Uh, here's a few of Jackie Chan's earlier films, Shaolin Wooden Man and To Kill With Intrigue. I freaking love Shaolin Wooden Man. I haven't watched To Kill With Intrigue yet, but Shaolin Wooden Man just uh, spoke to me. Um, Dragon Fist, uh, one, um, some more early Jackie Chan. Uh, Snake in the Ego Shadow, more Jackie Chan. This one actually made him a superstar. And my favorite Jackie Chan film, Drunken Master, and my second favorite martial arts film of all time. Freaking love that movie. Um, Legend of the Drunken Master, the sequel. And the Jackie Chan collection with eight films. This has Operation Con- no. <laughs> they kind of switched up the titles. Uh, the Armor of God is actually um, the first one. Operation Condor is actually Armor of God 2. Dragon Lord, Twin Dragons, Project A, Project A2, Super Cop, and the Accidental Spy. So that's a pretty good set there that I would have to keep. Uh, here we have some more on the top. Here we have Bloodsport, uh, Guilty Pleasure. Uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. How do you go from Bloodsport to Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? I don't know. Uh, House of Flying Daggers. Uh, Hero with Jet Li. Fantastic film. Uh, Iron Monkey. The uh, Donnie Yen one, not the Chen Kuan Tai one. Um, Once Upon a Time in China and Legend of the Red Dragon. Um, Once Upon a Time in China 2. I need to get part 3. Vampire Effect, special appearance of uh, Jackie Chan. Uh, this is a downloaded copy of Master with Cracked Fingers. <laughs> and uh, Jackie Chan the Action Pack, which brings a lot of his lesser known films, except for Fantasy Mission Force. But yeah, uh, like I said, we just gonna keep going. Uh, here we have the heroic ones, more Shaw Brothers. This involving the Iron Triangle, David Chang, T Long, um, Chang Che. Uh, here we have All Men Are Brothers, the sequel to The Water Margin. Brave Archer and His Mate, one of my least favorite Shaw Brothers films. Five Super Fighters. Drunken Monkey. Four Assassins, better known as Marco Polo. Legend of the Fox. 
Flag of Iron. Crazy movie. <laughs> Ten Tigers from Quang Tong. The Brave Archer Part 2. And the Brave Archer Part 3. Uh, Death Chambers, better known as Shaolin Temple. Shaolin Rescuers, better known as Avenging Warriors of Shaolin. Killer Army, a.k.a. the Rebel Intruders. House of Traps. Fist of the White Lotus, one of my all-time favorites. Dang, come back. No, no. <laughs> it fell off. I'm just leave it up here for now. Hold on, I got to clean everything up. I'm making a mess. Uh, Cat versus Rat. The Kung Fu Instructor. Dang, my arm hurts. <laughs> Whew. Okay, let's keep going. To Kill a Mastermind, a rare Shaw Brothers classic. Check it out. Uh, Showdown at the Cotton Mill. Mystery of Chess Boxing. Invincible Armor. Shaolin X Monk. The Sleeping Fist. Shaolin Temple. Ninja in the Dragon's Den. Warriors 2. Uh, Crystal Fist, aka the Jade Claw. Legend of a Fighter, uh, inspired Jet Li's Fearless. And this is a really good movie. Uh, Iron Monkey, the original, with uh, Chen Quan Tai. I have two different versions of Iron Monkey. <laughs> Uh, Hell's Windstaff, uh, aka the Dragon and Tiger Kids. Uh, this is uh, the an earlier version of Dragon Tiger Gate with uh, Donnie Yen. Uh, R Hats and Fury. Dang, my arm hurts. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a little break real quick. We gonna finish the show. The Secret Rivals, the Master Strikes, and last but not least, of Cooks and Kung Fu. So that's that shelf, and we have made it to the last shelf of the entire collection. Here we go. We start off with the Sister Street Fighter collection. I'm gonna keep this, because I hear they're re-releasing this on Blu-ray, but I'm gonna keep this, because it's in nice shape, okay? Uh, here we have Shogun Assassin, the official release. Uh, Seven Samurai, one of my favorite movies. Uh, Kill Bill's Volume One. Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2. I uh, love both of those movies. Uh, Karate for Life, Sonny Chiba. Executioners, the Executioner 2, Karate Inferno. I need to get that first one. And the Sonny Chiba Collection, which has Legend of the Eight Samurai, Ninja Wars, uh, Focus. Uh, G.I. Samurai, Resurrection of Golden Wolf. Put all those to the side there with all the rest of the movies. Uh, here we go. Let's continue. We have uh, The Legend is Born, Ip Man. That's a prequel. Uh, Ip Man, the very first one. Uh, Ip Man 2. I need to get the third one. Uh, Ip Man, The Final Fight. Uh, the Grandmaster. This is a very visually stunning look uh, on Ip Man's life. Um, Rumble in the Bronx and the Corruptor. Here we have some... Uh, Public domain films here. Uh, some more Sun Chiba, Legend of the Eight Samurai, and uh, Shogun's Ninja. Yes, I have two different copies of Legend of the Eight Samurai. Um, <laughs> Bruce Lee fights back from the grave from China with Death and Breathing Fire, the Samurai Warriors collection that I had since I was in elementary school. Screaming Ninja, Fist of Bruce Lee, and, and Chinese Hercules. And finally, Fist of Fear, Touch of Death, and the Real Bruce Lee. Now, let's move on to the actual shelf. Here. I'm sorry if it's dark. Hold on. Wait, that's a lot better. I put the light on. So let's let's continue. We have Bloodsport again and Ninja Assassin. Let me uh, take this out so I can have space. Um, he has nothing but Kung Fu. Fist and guts. Excuse me for the voice crack. Uh, Ninja in the Deadly Trap. The Buddhist Fist. The Iron Fisted Monk, Knockabout, The Prodigal Son, The Prodigal, is it The Prodigal or The Prodigal? I'm not too sure. Let, someone leave it in their notes. Um, Goose Boxer and Tiger Over Wall. Uh, seven Grandmasters, one of my favorites. Uh, Master of the Flying Gee Team. Uh, Fist of Vengeance uh, pack, which has, I don't know, how many movies? About 16 of them in here. I'm not going to say all of them. I'm just trying to keep up with the 
with the uh, video. But here we have this 50 pack of martial arts films. It contains, actually contains 50 movies in here. I got this for like $6.99 at Kmart. So that was a good, that was a steal. Uh, here we have another classic martial arts public domain collection uh, filled, filled with a lot of uh, obscure titles uh, and some cool exploitation titles. So, yeah, let me put that back in there. Booyah. And here we go. We have Snake in the Crane Shadow, Mantis in the Monkey Shadow, better known as the Phantom Kung Fu, Death Duel of Mantis. The Rivals of the Silver Fox, Shaolin Invincible Sticks, Ugh. here, um, Fist of Shaolin and Out of Danger, Shaolin Megaforce and Invincible Iron Palm, Shaolin Iron Finger and Satire Monks, uh, The Mysteries of Shaolin Temple. This is a uh, cool documentary. Uh, this Drunken Masters uh, set, which has World of Drunken Masters, Shaolin Drunken Fighter, Drunken Arch and Crippled Fish, Shaolin Drunken Monk, Destroyer Drunken Master, and Kung Fu of Eight Drunkers. A lot of drunk. Um, this Martial Arts Samurai Pack with Street Fighter, Kung Fu Punch of Death, better known as the Prodigal Boxer, Bruce Lee the Man of the Myth, and they have a third version of Legend of the Eight. Samurai. Um, here we have this four martial arts film favorites, which with some really nice 35 millimeter prints: Militant Eagle, The Prodigal Boxer, Moonlight Sword, and Jade Lion, and The Bloody Fists. Uh, here we go with these last four. I'm just taking them off the shelf. Here we have The Great Impersonators. These are all 12 movie sets. Uh, consisted of Bruce Boytation films, that's why it's called The Great Impersonators, Way of the Five Finger Death Strike, some random martial arts films that are pretty obscure and hard to find in here. Uh, here we have Flying Fist of Kung Fu, this is probably my favorite of the set. Just uh, some pure Kung Fu films, pure Kung Fu madness right here. Uh, definitely some of my favorites on here. Uh, Seven Steps of Kung Fu, Drunken Tai Chi, Donnie Yen's first film. And last but not least, we have Kicking It Shaolin style, the 12 movie set with all films related to or about Shaolin in any way, shape, or form. So there you go, that is the collection. And here's the mess I've made. <sighs> Ooh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, my content on the channel as I said before look forward to more videos this year I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna try to do a lot more this year a lot more with my channel so just stay tuned for that and uh, also uh, thank you guys for over a hundred and fifty subscribers I never really thought I'd get a chance to reach that limit but I did thanks to you all thank you all for continually supporting me thank you all for watching my channel Thank you all for understanding my passions and what they mean to me. And also, I just wanted to thank uh, Last Venom 76 for lending me a bunch of these Kung Fu films. Uh, half of these uh, martial arts films I have are um, uh, props to him because he uh, lent me uh, a box full of martial arts films that I continue to watch to this day and I really thank him for doing that. Uh, without him, my collection wouldn't be as big as it is today. So uh, thank you for that, uh, my good sir. And hope you had a happy new year uh, as well. So like I said, thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for sticking around for all these years so much. And I really appreciate it. Now it's time to clean up and enjoy 2019 and the rest of the new year. You guys have a blessed day.